We're out here at Jenny Creek and we're working on assisted sediment evacuation. Jenny Creek being the largest tributary to the Klamath River upstream of Iron Gate Dam before you get into the big rivers in the upper basin. Over time, since the reservoir was put in place back in the 60s, Jenny Creek has dumped just a massive amount of sand, gravel, cobble, boulders right here in, in what we call the Jenny Creek Delta. As the water from the creek enters the former reservoir footprint. And so the activity that we're working on is kind of threefold. One, find the former channel of Jenny Creek because right now the water is just flowing over these historic delta deposits, not necessarily in uh, the pre-reservoir channel. Two, it's beginning the grading of the floodplain to promote connection of the creek to its eventual post-restoration floodplain. And three, it turns out that all the sediments that have been deposited here in these deltas, this one in particular, are really high quality sand, gravel, and cobble material that are very beneficial to the aquatic ecosystem of the Klamath River. So we're really putting this material back in the river as a, a benefit to the Klamath River and a benefit to the future habitat restoration that'll happen here on Jenny Creek. This assisted sediment evacuation activity is the first major earth moving step towards restoring these tributaries in these former reservoir footprints. These massive accumulations of sediment at these tributary deltas where they've dumped all this sediment over the past number of decades is just kind of in the way and would, if left alone, really inhibit the formation of a stable yet dynamic floodplain stream system. If left to its own devices, the streams and creeks through these delta deposits would really become and stay unstable canyon streams with no floodplains, with high sediment loads and no habitat. This type of activity that we're doing back here has not been done before on a restoration project. Typically on any kind of construction project, including restoration, the objective is to keep sediment out of the water. But thinking back to the timing of the initiation of drawdown for these reservoirs and the you know, completion in a single year of the complete drawdown of three major reservoirs was done purposefully to minimize, reduce the impact that was going to occur to the downstream river. It was going to be a lot of sediment released, it was going to be some water quality issues, and so the time during which that was chosen to happen was based on a lack of adult fish in the main stem and juvenile salmonids still holding in their spawning areas up in tributaries. And so this activity is just is coinciding with the elevated level of sediment discharge associated with reservoir drawdown. We've seen no impact of this work on downstream water quality, kind of as expected. The Klamath River is a, has a lot more flow than what Jenny Creek does or any of these other tributaries. It's already moving a lot more sediment than these can. And so these work activities, although seemingly moving a lot of material, pale in comparison to the work that the main stem Klamath River is doing itself. We're just not seeing turbidity spikes or sediment discharge spikes or any other water quality impacts downstream of Iron Gate Dam from these activities that we're doing out here on the tributaries.